Yeah. Yeah, hello everyone. We are back with more Code Vein, and I screwed up there. <laughs> um, in the last episode, we took down Nicola, and you notice that we're not in the same area. We are back at the outer crossroads, because I believe... Greetings. I have a um, lovely soul. By talking to Shang again. You know, I actually got some new yes, info on the depths. Yes, we got more info on the depths. That's great. It might lead us to the materials I've been looking for all these years. I'd go and check for myself right away, but the stuff is in the hands of some especially mean lost. I think you'd be up to the task, though. So, would you mind looking into it? Oh, yeah. We have another quest this time. We are... You can say this is another quest-based episode. Like, if we are... Greeting. Uh, talk to you real quick. See how many... If any I can acquire any valuables. World, I can give you valuables because in exchange. Because I haven't upgraded Mia's weapon. I might do that in this episode. Wow, we only have two. Um, okay, then. So if I buy two, that's seven. That's still... If you have any that is enough. from the old world, I can give you valuables um, in exchange. that's the yellow book. I believe I gave... Um... Yeah, if you pay attention to the um, to back if you need the link I put in the videos a while, while ago when I was talking about gifts. Um, not the one where I got Mia's weapon, but a while, a while ago. I believe we were doing vestiges then. Jeez, that was a while back. But um, we're going to head back to the home base real quick. I'm going to see how many points I have with Louie. Because if I do have enough points, I will uh, get Louie's weapon. Which is... Just a sword I use on most of my characters. The only one I really do not use a sword on is... Well, I was playing a lot of Persona 4 at the time, so I made Naoto. I just gave him... I just gave the character Mia's gun, because that's what they're known for. So I was playing a lot of that. Um, yeah, there's just like... Most of the time I play this game, I just go back, create a character, and just leave it at that. That's it. Nothing else. <laughs> create a character, that's it. See how they look? Oh, they look nice. Uh, I want to create another one, so I'll be back. <laughs> That's stuff I would do. And, um... Soon enough, something, as you can tell. <laughs> um, That's just something I would constantly do. And, uh, this is gonna be, like, the first time in a while that I would come back and fully complete the game. Because, um... When we hit the DLC, which is will be after the uh, finale, the post-game, um, we will, um... We will be doing that, and I probably will go back to my original character, because they're the one I kind of went through every game. I'm already on New Game Plus with them. Oh, crap. I didn't even notice. This stuff uh, up I'll show us. Yikes. You must have seen some real action. Don't worry. I've got it taken care of. So what happened? Huh? You all look so happy, especially Mia. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> How did she find us? I mean, I know we're in the church. Oh. Uh, never mind. What is she doing here? Please, Jack. You have to save Jack. She's about to frenzy. Let's take her to the back. We can shoot her there. Thing is, uh, I didn't know this cutscene was about to happen. I completely forgot about it, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Uh, I'll be quiet. How do you I, feel? I'll, I'll try to. I apologize for barging in like I'll that. I'll try to be quiet. What's going on exactly? Do you know about the cavern underneath the cathedral? We, we were attacked there. Jack lured them away so that I could... <coughs> Slow down. Attacked? Wait, what were you doing down there in the first place? I'm Our sorry mission pick up on is that. the preservation <laughs> of the successors and their relics. 
It Sorry. is not a new phenomenon a for successors to go Frozen into a frenzy. Soon. There has always been a need for someone to monitor them and to stop them if they ever begin to turn. A successor acts as a vessel for a relic, in both body and will. If that vessel breaks, it has to be replaced. That's why. That's why you were hunting for revenants? We considered every possible option. We truly did. But in the end, that was the only one that would work. I know it's no excuse for what we've done, even if it was the only way. That is simply a burden I will have to live with. I will always carry them with me. I will never forget the faces and dreams of those who stepped forward to keep the relics safe. I suppose... It really can't be all that easy to find a replacement vessel. That's why we're here. To keep a constant eye on the condition of the other successors. Wait, you guys are successors too? Jack watches the successors for signs of frenzy, while I act as a temporary replacement, until we can find someone suitable. My voice has the power to stave off frenzy, for a time at least. Temporary vessel. Hmm. I think I'm beginning to see. There's a successor resting in a crypt under the cathedral. We were traveling through the tunnels down there to check on them. I know I have no right to ask you for help. But... <coughs> It's all right. You rest here for now. We'll rescue Jack. I promise. Actually, I have a question. The successor whose crypt is under the cathedral, do you know who they are? I do. In addition to a number of other scientific endeavors, he was involved in revenant research and an integral part of Project Queen. I believe you may have heard of him. Juzo Mido. Did you say... Mido? You know him? Yeah. He... He sold us out. Me and my entire family. Yeah, if you... Uh, that was pretty intense. <laughs> I just shut up there for quite a while. I'm sorry if you picked up any background noise while well, I was like kind of moving around. I really do apologize for that. And everything goes back to normal. <laughs> um, I'm recording this right now. I have not done the uh, the recordings for uh, uh, Nicholas. Nicholas will come like right after this. Or, well in terms of videos, uh, his will come right before the one I'm doing right now. Uh -oh. I told you I was looking for my friends, right? We were all mercenaries that grew up in the same uh, orphanage. Uh, that's where we're going. The person yeah. who I ran the military thought. company we belonged to was Mido himself. Yeah, you saw how uh, I never heard from them after I revived. Uh, so I figured they were all Yakuma dead. Was there. I never would have guessed they were hiding in one of the Queen's experimental units. And I believe Yakumo says this regardless of um, what you say. If you restored some of his memories or not. Uh, yeah, this burglary doll that we found uh, a while ago. Um, this is a gift that just everyone likes. In addition to like the blood bead candy, a uh, piece of candy is shaped like blood. It make take your mind off the thirst. It's said to have a metallic taste to it, so it's probably just blood or blood flavored sugar. <laughs> uh, the burglary dolls, everyone likes these, so it's kind of like a neutral gift that you can give to everyone, and it just gives. Make sure uh, you're ready for whatever comes. Um. We are going to... No, I don't want to sit. God damn it. Uh, apologize for my language. Yeah, you can just sit for, like, no reason. There's no point unless you want to take some photos. Like, in photo mode, but I don't think you can activate... We don't know why your blood can activate now. missile and blood springs. Uh... However, there's a medicine made from the Queen's blood... Hey, they're bringing up the medicine sort of again. Effect. This is only a hypothesis, 
that your blood might be related well, to the queen I've, somehow. We already know this with what Louis brought up because we went to the past and explored your character's memories. Or in this case, uh, Coconut's memories. Hey, we have ten trade points. Um, this looks so we're going to give this like to, to Louis. All sorts of literary we were originally going to do. Uh, like give the sword to Louis. If so, I can give you a few good recommendations. And um, I believe with this. Oh, where are my manners? Thank you. This should. I hopefully am thinking More gifts? that with all the gifts we have it. and what we give to Louis. Uh, More gifts. Uh, More this gifts? can fully. More gifts. It probably won't. More gifts. Uh, okay. Um, we are going to. Ah, uh, frick. Ah, uh, we don't have enough friggin' A. Um, okay. The fighting will get more intense from here on out. Make I thought sure we had enough. Prepared. I was wrong. But, um, when you get e EO as a partner, they, I will tell you when it happens, but I won't show, like, the footage for it. Um, you have returned. You get EO as a partner after returning. From the Cathedral of the Sacred Blood, after defeating the successor of the Rip Cage, and after you've seen her first part of the memories. Again, I will not show those until the end of the playthrough. So, Frig, I usually go here to restore vet memories, but we're not doing that today. We're going to give valuables, and Eo's the one who likes these kind of weird gifts. Um, you give her a curious novelty, shape. and she really what likes that gift for some for? reason. And I have no Aside idea what that thing use, is. I like to collect things like this. I know a good place to keep it. And um, uh, I give her a Such local tank, and she likes that as well. I wonder which nation. And like represents. each character has like a little response to each of the gifts you give them. You see it with Louis, you saw it with Mia, I know a good and you. If I find some more, I'll you'll see it with Yakimo. Because with the character I created, you have um, my deepest thanks. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, the character of Koganoe, I might stick. S I might use all the different weapons. Like I might use a halberd. I might use the gun. I might use the. Um, I you saw me use a sword. I might use the two-hand great sword. Um, get valuables. Uh, the tomato Odin sandwich, I believe, is another one. Odin is is that how I pronounce Odin? Tomato Odin sandwich. Uh, roll stuff with Odin, a traditional dish commonly made in the Far East, which was simmered in tomato sauce. Um, yeah, I believe this is another gift that most people are like generally like, eh, it's okay, but they enjoy that is it. A wonderful smell. However, I am not sure how to eat it properly. It's too big to fit in my mouth Giggity. all at once. Biting into it makes it fall apart. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Eating can be Not a very really, daunting but... task, don't you think? I have... Okay, so... Receive items, yeah. With that, um, yeah, you could also receive her weapon, uh, the Damarong, a pole arm used by the innocent EO. has been customized by Morisama to activate a gift that provides the builder with additional protect protection when swung. As you carve out your destiny, Will you find your own past, or will you hope to creating a future with friends? Huh. Hmm. I don't think we get any... Oh, never mind. Uh, Eos Chrome. And each character... I, I know I mentioned this, but I gotta keep bringing it up in case for some reason you guys decide to jump in or you forgot. Because I kind of upload these inconsistently. Um, each of the characters has its own Chrome tied to them. I believe Yakumos is like one of the best because it just ups protection and damage. So it's like, oh yeah, I like this. Um, a highly valuable mural, the ES Chrome, made from a special ore mixed with blood. As per some, it has a transformer weapon. It increases its attack power or blood veil to enhance its gift's effectiveness, but damage, like, at the cost of greatly reduced stat scaling. Uh, if I was to give it a comparison, I would say it's like the raw gem from Dark Souls 3. That's what I'm getting from it, because I never used the ES Chrome. Because, like, it just boosts its attack power overall, but it doesn't scale with your stats, at, or it does so poorly. Was I of any assistance? Yes, you were, you know, you're always of great assistance. Um, why are you still here? The human I brought woman. you something from the shelter. Provisions that you might be able to use. Yeah, it's like, 
like Wait, there's you, like no way to fail her. That? You could you always save her from whatever. Ooh, aged brandy, faded conics, or aromatic herbs that clarify millimeter real. I've heard stories talk about to, you lately. Talk to her again after she gives you the provisions. You found blood beads and springs and reported them to the provisional government. It seems hey. many shelters have been saved because of those reports. You really care about others, don't you? I'm fortunate to have met revenants such as you. So, uh, I guess I was wrong. Um, no, 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 no. Um, uh, I'm just gonna check it out. I got a whole new line of stock in, thanks to my Herculean efforts. Yeah, just like check it out, but everyone. Seriously, you've made my job a whole like, lot easier. Might as well. In my case, like I guess this is like a downtime episode, if I'm being honest. Uh. Do, 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 do. Uh, Watch yourself out there. Okay, so we've done that. I'm going to give Louie the faded comics, and then I'll give him a bloody so, candy. Jack and Eva were killing successors near Frenzy and switching okay, out their relics. Here, that does stop the successors from frenzying, and it is a kind of mercy to save them from joining the Lost. However, it seems that what you did for Nicola and Aurora restored their mm. minds. I think your method may be a better way of helping the successors. It is a better method, because I actually save them. And they they essentially keep the power of the lost transformation in addition to their rev in addition to like having the power of a successor. Um, get valuables, blood These candy. These candies were made to taste like blood beads. They're certainly better than nothing. I'll try not to bite down on them too early. <laughs> I I I can kind of like see him as like jawbreakers, I guess. Uh, wow. Burgundy doll. This takes me back. Boot I have no idea right? what this reference is. I don't know if it was like an actual them. show. Let me look but it up I real quick. Really uh, let me look I it up real quick. I'm actually unsure. Uh, let me check. Covey. Uh, um. Give him. He takes the uh, faded comics as well. Where did you get this? Can I really have it? Uh, Yakumo suggested I read it, so I gave it a try, and it's pretty interesting. I didn't think I'd get to see how the story continues. Okay, so everyone Thanks. pretty much really enjoys Burgerly. The only real exception is Coco, because Coco only gets two, which I, which is the lowest. Uh, people who get the most are Davis. A character recruit later on, and yeah, Yakimo and Rin. Huh. Didn't know that. Uh, okay, so with that, we can <laughs> we can get one of the best items in the game, in my opinion. Uh, uh, well, we look at Prometheus Chrome. It reduces the weight overall and makes it lighter but decrease base stats but you should have, still have pretty good scaling depending on your blood code but you don't need to use these stamps stamps are useless they're really only for online play uh enduring crimson this is Yak uh yakubo's Whoa, what the heck was i saying it's louis weapon louis trusty sidearm it's red bears and gave it a spell like gift and when fueled with icor can cut through the toughest defenses with a single stroke it is received from the same revenant that gave Yakumo his own weapon and was built by dedicated hands with Louis' technique in mind. I do not know if we ever find out who makes those. It could be Rin, it could be her who just makes them better, but we pick that up, bam. And you can buy them as many times as you Waste want, not, want which not. is good. Waste not, want that, yeah. And Fighting from what we get, they're just replicas. Like, you Make still sure see them in game using their own weapons, but it does get kind of awkward when you notice that all these characters, like you have, um, I'll take the machete off, and where is it? Yeah, it, it the machete is that it has dexterity. The enduring prison has better dexterity scaling. Thanks to uh, everyone's hard work, to I can Asana. offer new weapons. Take a look if you'd like. Uh, take a look if you like. We are going to, well, we're going to give you a valuable. Is there a point to giving valuables to Murasame? No, because unfortunately Murasame never comes out with us. There's a reason why, but you won't find out until later. What do so you like, want to um, upgrade? We're going to upgrade our weapon. We're going to upgrade the Enduring Crimson. 
and I it just gets exponentially better in my opinion uh, just keep upgrading just keep upgrading <laughs> um, what can we upgrade this to jeez okay we can upgrade it to plus six and um, uh, I guess why not we'll go to the bayonet uh, for uh, the oh, yeah. I, I like practice pronouns that's so wrong <laughs> Uh, we're just gonna upgrade uh, the Mia, Mia's weapon, the one she gave us, and we're gonna upgrade it all the way to plus six because we can, and why not? Oh, I think we just had enough. Yeah, it's at plus six. Make sure you've got everything before and... you go out. And but this, yeah, this will be our downtime episode, unfortunately. And um, let me, we'll see what gifts we can acquire from Nicholas because we didn't check that out yet. Um. Eos is one, again, you'll get that right after a successor of the Ripcage fight and when you head back to base, but you have not seen it yet that, again, I'm going to keep repeating this. It's going to be like right before the finale. And that's why I have to keep my other little um, thumb drive available because I'm going to have to, I'm probably going to have to use like three or four different thumb drives by the time we finish. Anyways, Nicholas. 42 up, eh. Uh, Grave Knocker. Slam your foot on the ground causing a shockwave. That reminds me of uh, Davis, the one little shockwave move. Um, but I haven't seen it. I, I, I guess I'll unlock it because like, I haven't seen it. Like, Might as well be a good gift. Um, these other two you only get by unlocking watching the code, so we'll do that later. Focus Guard. Um, I haven't got that. Red Shoes. Enables you to use HP to perform actions when you have run out of stamina. Ooh, that sounds good, but uh, that's not something I would do. Uh, crushing Might. Temporarily makes it easier to break an opponent's guard. Eh. Uh, Ice Barrage. It's shoot a series of icy projectiles that bombard foes in the wide area. I've used it before. It's really effective when you're up close, but nowhere else. Uh, yeah. So, uh, everyone, that's going to be it for the episode. You'll see the Nicola episode before this, before this episode goes up. But, um, hope everyone has a great time. This is Omega Zero. That was a bit rough. Eh, it wasn't rough this time. It was just a long episode to sit through. <laughs> Anyways, guys, my name is Omega Zero, and this is me signing out.